working team. Pop your knees on top of the ball. Come forwards. And then from there, draw the knees into the chest and back up. See, body's in a nice straight line. Good. So you're just rolling it in and out. Try and get your body as straight as you can on the way out. Good, good, good. Keep it going. Apologies if my belly starts to hang out with my t-shirt. So we're working on shoulder strength as well, but this is mainly a core workout. Good, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Should we start to feel that now? Okay. Okay. Curve me, come on. Lay yourself on the floor. Place your feet on top of the floor. Open that wide. Now this is going to take a bit of balance. Lift and come down. Excellent. So you're going to feel this right in your hamstrings, in the back of your thighs. But really squeeze your bottom muscles. Work in those backs. Good. I don't know if you can see in the background, but Bruce Wayne is having a bit of a mad half hour. Oh. So if, if your ball keeps moving away, just keep repositioning and go back to it. Try and push your hips as high up to the ceiling as you can so that you really work into these legs. Okay? Now. We're going to go full flexion into our sit-up. So, sit on your ball, come forward till your feet are going to drop off. Then line yourself all the way over so that your back is right over the top of the ball. Then come up so you can feel a little shake and back down. Now as you go back down, I want you to stretch all the way back. So we're getting some back flexibility in there as well. Good. Come on, keep this going. So we're really working into the core. Now I generally don't do a lot of sit-ups with dancers because it can affect back flexibility. But on the ball, you can actually do a stretch to compensate the strength work. Ooh. Come on, let's go. So I'm gonna do one round of five exercises. You can do this as many times through as you want. So like the first position, come forward so your knees are on top of the ball. Now bring your knees into the right shoulder, back out, then into the left shoulder. Now you'll notice that your flexibility on one side is a lot better than the other side. That's normal, okay? Especially with dancing, you tend to be quite one-sided. So, as you push back, push your right back into a straight line. Let's go. What are you doing? Why? No, don't stop on that. <laughs> good, good, good. Bruce. Come on, let's go. Please ignore the dog in the background. Come on. Oh, I can really... Okay, last exercise. Pop yourself down on your back. Hook your feet over your ball. Now, really pull your knees into the chest and back out. So you've got to grip the ball with the legs so the legs are working. And then the knees are coming in towards the chest. Good. Okay, come on. Woo! Keep this going, team. Lovely. So really working into this area. Strengthening the core for all your balance work. And a nice strong core will mean that you can jump higher in your jumps. To get better height. Lovely. Come on, keep going, keep going. Well done. So there's five exercises that you can incorporate into your core workout to 
really make this area strong. So do that video through as many times as feels comfortable for you. If you've got any questions about the exercises, please get in touch. Well done, team.